I am excited now to have a conversation about our new chapter that we'll be launching uh, just now. Um, in our efforts to expand the Games for Change community globally, last year we announced the G4C Asia Pacific chapter. This year, we are very excited to have the opportunity to launch a new chapter on yet another continent. This time, Africa. Um, so I'm going to bring to the stage right now Glenn Gillis, CEO of Sea Monster, who will be spearheading this brand new chapter called G4C Africa. Hello, Glenn. Hello, Susanna. Big day for all of us. And thank you for the opportunity. Looking yes. forward to sharing the news with everyone. Yes. Now, wh where are you beaming in from right now? Uh, we're in Cape Town, South Africa. If anyone's confused, that's at the bottom of Africa. Happy to send directions. Uh, middle of winter, <laughs> freezing cold and raining outside. But yeah, we're all good to go. Oh, I'm so happy that you've decided to come on board this journey with us. Um, and welcome to the G4C family, Glenn. Uh, I know that you have a lot of uh, things uh, planned and a lot of uh, exciting opportunities there are for others within uh, the community to participate. As always, the Games for Change chapters are, we strive to be inclusive of cultures and people from all over the different countries that are represented in each of our, our chapter regions. So um, Glenn, if, without further ado, I understand that you have a short presentation about what your goals are and the opportunities in Africa. So why don't you just take from here. Thank you very much indeed, Susanna. And yes, everybody, thank you uh, for the wonderful opportunity to share this exciting news with, with you. So many of you know that Africa is not a country. It's in fact a continent made up of many, many different people. And the idea behind the initiative is that there are so many people doing incredible work all over the continent, but we're doing it largely alone. And of course, what Games for Change gives us is a means to organize ourselves, to get together, to share our learnings, and um, to go out there and be advocates for the change, for true diversity and inclusion. And of course, Africa is an incredible, incredibly diverse continent in its own right. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the people behind the scenes who are organizing it. So in South Africa, we have an industry body called Interactive Entertainment South Africa. They're a non-for-profit, well-established body that coordinates all the efforts here. And they host annually a Africa Games Week, which is going to be in the first week of December. And that's really where we're going to be launching uh, the chapter in its, in its full right. But why do we need to do this? And, and who is Sea Monster? Well, Seamonster has been at the forefront of serious games now for over 10 years. Uh, we believe in the power of story uh, to shape the imaginations of young people, but also to drive behavior change across uh, sectors and across different uh, social purposes. Um, so between us, uh, we've taken it on ourselves to organize, um, to become the temporary curators of this, and really to ask people to join us in this journey. Africa needs this. Africa is the youngest continent by some measure. So it's also the future market for many people out there, uh, whether they are uh, in the non-for-profit sector or, in fact, corporates in their own right. Um, they're also mostly mobile first. So this is the continent that is going to so-called leapfrog technologies. We know that already the data is complete around this. Um, and many young people, and in fact, people are, uh, of all ages, really do access the internet and the digital uh, economy through their, their mobile phones. Um, and of course, this is really the continent where there's the biggest opportunity to affect change. Um, and games really can do that like no other. So where we are in the process is we want to know what it is that Games for Change Africa must do. What are its goals? How do we position ourselves? We do not want to compete with many organizations out there that already have a role in organizing either their own countries, but other activities across the entire continent. So for, for now, we want you to ponder on these questions, to make contact with us. Tell us what it is that you need out um, of the uh, chapter so that we can um, organize ourselves around being fit for purpose. What's also important is 
what could you do? Uh, how is it that you can contribute to this? We know that change comes from a handful of committed people who want to see things done differently. Um, and of course, if you don't want to uh, be involved directly, please let us know who else we should be talking to. So please think about those things over the course of the uh, coming days. Join us at the Games for Africa uh, booth, uh, Games for Change Africa booth, uh, also the Sea Monster booth. You'll meet some of our people and we can start having this conversation um, uh, over the next few days, but also over the next couple of months. So we'll be tag teaming with many of the other chapters as their events roll out during the course of the latter part of the year. We'll be hosting specific uh, sessions around the lead up to the launch uh, of the chapter proper in December. So you'll be seeing regular communication from us, join our mailing list, become part of it, and we'll slowly organize ourselves as we get closer and closer to hopefully running a, a serious game track um, at the event in December. So we'll see you there. Um, please email us on this uh, address, hello at g4cafrica.org. Uh, tell us how you can get involved. Tell us what it is you think we need to be doing um, and help us uh, make the world a better place. Thank you so much indeed for the opportunity and looking forward to sharing the journey with you. Over and out. Thanks so much.